guys I'm here today building the new BD10 LCR and as promised I said I'll show you the tips and tricks we do to it when I build it I've um, prepped the chassis I've just gone around and sanded that and glued it I've, I got that in another video so if you just want to go back you can check that out but that's pretty simple the diffs are the same we had a diff video there as well, so I'm not going to show you those, but what I'm up to now, what I like to do, put the top deck on, all the bulkheads, motor mount, have everything loose. Everything's all left loose. I get me 18 mil block, stick in, and then what I like to do, hold them up, hold it tight, got perfect on the 18 mil block. Just nip them all up. Right, perfect. With the top deck in, it holds it all straight to the front. So it keeps everything in line so you know then the belts will be straight. So uh, it's something that I like to do. I think it's better. Like I said, just nip them up, not too tight. You don't want to be a gorilla over tighten them. Just nip them all up. And I do the same in the motor mount now. Same thing. Just nip them all up. Line up your battery stop. You want that coming straight out. Tighten it up. Right, now I know that's all going to be straight. That's all I do then. I know the bulkheads are right. Another thing I like to do for the tops stand the stand the thing up now i know then I, I just hold it tighten it up so i know they're perfectly square it's 18 mil holds everything true so like i said this is what i do i like to do it hold the shock tower down just nip all the shock tower up as well just do the same then for the front and you know it's all square everything's perfect so and like i said if i do do rebuild them i'd like doing the same as well so it just keeps everything nice you know it's all straight and um everything's perfect so like i said you do this the car is built the way you like it from the word go you don't have a problem so now i know everything's perfect front and rear the motor mount like i said the top deck it just helps hold everything in place so the other thing half a mil shim under the front in the instructions it doesn't say about it but i do half a mil there and i do a mil under here just to hold the top deck up um, it says to do it on the front, but the instructions don't say it on the back. So just a mill shim under the rear pole. And on the front, I actually take the shim out because I don't use it on the chassis. None of the boys use it. So I just drop it in half a mil. It says to use a half a mil or a mil spacer, I think. But yeah, just pull that out when you do the front pole. And I'll stick in the new the new front brace for that anyway with the bearing the belt tensioner so you know, now i can put the diffs in get all that done and go from there all right see you in the next one all right we're back again guys just taking the top deck off um it's hard to see i've got the front little belt tensioner there um i'd recommend them that's something that I really recommend, the front belt tensioner. Gets the slop out of it. I put that in, I thought I'd show you. Just done the rear T-brace as well. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, the pulleys for the center. I just get, I know, it's probably hard to see, but um, you might be able to, just a discoloration, just around the outside on both of them. Um, I just put a bit of glue because sometimes they had known to come off. So the last thing you want to be doing, winning your A final and you have the belt come off. So just real thin, just run a little bit of super glue around that. 
Car comes with a 110, so I run 100, so uh, you got to change that. The other thing I wanted to let you know, they're the standard belts you get with a car, okay? No, uh, no, it's not. That's the low friction belt. That's what I like to run. So they're the low friction. You see on the header card, I like putting them in. The standard ones are these guys. So uh, that's the one Mick likes to use for mod. But another one they brought out was this guy. The white belts. Now, I've never tried the white belts. So I'm going to build up the new car, put the white belts in. Hopefully they're just as good as the other ones. So we'll see how they go. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Is, um, on the front, I'll quickly just pull it out in the bag and show you. Is, on the diffs, which I haven't done yet, like I said, these are your bearing holders. Now on the bottom, you got the two little dots there. But what I do, normally get my gold pen, and on the one with the gold, on the two dots is a bottom. I just mark in the slot there. So when it's in the car, if you're racing at night, even during the day, it's hard. To see the two little dots, I just get my gold pen, do that little mark. Makes it so much easier. And you can just put your belts and your diffs to whatever tension you need. You can see it and line it up on the lines. It just makes it so much easier. So, another little tip for you. Alright, see you in the next one. Alright, another quick one, guys. Um, on the spur gear. On the instructions, it doesn't have anything... But I've been asked a few times about the slop. So I've put my spur gear on. What I do, I put this little shim, 8mm shim. It's by 0.1. Put that onto the put that onto the motor mount, onto the shaft. I put him on first. Put the gear on. And I also what I do on the 3x6 bolt, I put a 1mm shim. And then that, I'll just put it on and show you. That gets out all the slop. You need a little bit because you want it to spin. But spinning good. Just want a little bit of play. Just a little bit in the gear, just a little bit. Spins like a little blue, uh, beauty. So, like I said, just a little bit of play. You don't want heaps because then it'll damage your bearings. And I also oiled the bearings. I did all the bearings. People say, oh, do you do the bearings from new? Yes, I'll clean them out. Use a bit of buggy, blast them out, and then re-oil them with a bit of lube. So they spin a lot freer. Alrighty. All right, guys, back again. Just about to build the front spool up. You get with the kit the steel out drives which are fantastic they never break never have problems but they are a little bit on the heavy side for spec for um for mod recommend them spec i've got these ones they're the lightweight alloys so uh, we'll put them in Bit let a bit lighter. I'm not sure exactly. I think it was about six to eight grams, and the same on the rear. Like they're the rear ones. So, like I said, I'm running stock in mine, so I'm always going to run these. Just give me that bit of an edge. You know, it's only going to help me. So there are a couple of things. So it depends on what you're running. If you're running mod, yeah, you probably leave them, get away. You never have to worry about bending them, replacing them. They do wear out. These last forever, but you want performance. They're a good option part to put into your car too, guys. Alrighty.